Hello guys! In this video, I'm going to show you how to fund your coins.ph through Gcash. And I'm also going to show you how to convert your peso to Ethereum through coins.ph. So as we know guys, no, this coins.ph is a free, secured, and trusted mobile wallet that lets you access financial services from your phone even without a bank account or credit card. And this application also allows us to buy or convert our peso value to cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum, Bitcoin, BCH, and XRP. Alright? Now, before doing all these transactions, you need to make sure that your Gcash and your coins.ph are verified. Otherwise, certain functionalities of these two applications will not be available for you. Okay? So, note that for coins.ph, your account must be verified on the level 2 of its verification. Okay? If you haven't registered your account yet, I posted the links below. Alright? Um for registration and verification. Now, remember guys that the verification of coins.ph will take 72 hours. Okay? Now, just before we go to Gcash, let's take note of our account name and the account number. So, on coins.ph, on the left navigation page, you'll see the account name which is Johanny Bernardino, and the account number, which is the mobile number ending in 4056. Those are the information that we need in order for us to be able to send money from Gcash to coins.ph. Now, I'm launching Gcash now, and I've just been logged out. So of course, upon launching, you'll need to verify or authenticate Gcash. Once done, and we're in the application, we'll click on Send Money. Alright, so once clicked, choose Send to Bank Next. It should display list of affiliated banks to Gcash. And we'll need to look for coins.ph DC Pay. Scroll down a bit. And there you go. Coins.ph DC Pay. Okay. So now we have the form to fill out for our transfer. First, we enter the amount of the transfer that we want to make. So, example, 1,000, put in the account name as shown on coins.ph, put in the account number, you also have here the option to send a receipt to an email address, but we won't do that, and that Notice it says your convenience fee is waived for this transaction. Okay, so there's no charge for this. Click on send money. Please make sure that you have placed correct information. Otherwise, um, Gcash cannot actually be held liable for information, incorrect information that we placed on the form. So once confirmed, click on confirm so there you go finally we've successfully processed the transfer and that will receive an sms or email to confirm our transaction but notice guys coins.ph has already sent us a push notification saying that it has received a total amount of 1000 pesos and there's the coins.ph sms as a confirmation, Gcash will also send a confirmation 
that will state or that will confirm the success of our transaction. Now let's go to coins.ph. That amount that we transferred, which is 1,000, should automatically be reflected on coins.ph. And that has completed our funding of coins.ph or transferring funds from Gcash through coins.ph. Now, our next step is to convert our peso value to Ethereum. To do so, click on Convert. You have to make sure that when you're converting, the value from is set to PHP and that you will receive value to Ethereum. Okay, so now what you have to keep in mind as stated on the reminder is that the prices of the digital currencies are volatile meaning it changes, it may rise, it may fall um, without control, and that prices may go up or down at any time. Okay, so right now, the conversion rate is at 19,676. Now, the conversion rate or the current rate here is actually the buying rate of Ethereum. It is different from the price or the conversion of Ethereum to PHP. So, let me show you the difference. So, currently, Ethereum to PHP is at... Okay, 18,857. That is the conversion of Ethereum to PHP. And the buying or the conversion of PHP to Ethereum is at 19,696. So I hope it did not change yet to a higher value. All right. Alright, let's just wait for coins.ph to load. Okay, there you go. Click on convert, putting in 1,000 pesos. So notice guys, um, the conversion rate is already at 19,717. So that's how fast the changes are in the currency. So I'm going to click on slide to convert. I just change once again. So this will happen. No? In the middle of you converting and the price of Ethereum has changed, uh, you'll get this notification saying that the rate has changed and that it will tell you how much it has changed too. So you click on confirm and just slide to convert. All right, so push notification, we've received 0 0.0507, yan, um, which is 1,000 uh, worth of peso. So there you go, we've successfully converted 1,000 peso worth of peso to Ethereum. So it's as easy as that, guys, um, but if you have questions, please feel free to send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, thank you. Bye!